Now for part B, we're asked to calculate the equation of the regression line of h on f and give it in the form h equals a plus bf. Now to do this, we've got to just cast our mind back to when we do regression lines normally where we have got y and x, where we do y on x. We have a scatter diagram, something like this, say, and we have our regression line passing through these points. And normally it's in the form y equals a plus bx. And we calculate b as being equal to sxy on sxx. And as for a, a is equal to, because we should know that the mean x bar y bar is a point that lies on this line, and so therefore it must satisfy this equation. So it would have y bar equals a plus b x bar. And if you rearrange that for a, you would end up with a equaling y bar minus b x bar. So when we compare this to what we've got to work out here then, we first of all have got to get b. And so to get b, we know that therefore b is equal to s of fh, when we compare it to s of xy, all divided by s of what was xx is now s of ff. Now we've got these values worked out. We've got s of fh worked out from part a. It was 64.75. And we've got to now divide that then by s of ff. And we've got that as one of the summary statistics they gave us, 39.5. And if you do this, you'll find that you get 1.63924 and so on. We've got to give this to three significant figures. We're told that in the question. So 1.64 then to three significant figures. Now we need to get A. And we know that according to our formula here and kind of transforming it over to this one, we know that A must be equal to H bar, the mean of H, minus B times f bar, the mean of f. So how do we get h bar? Well, h bar, the mean of h, is going to be the sum of h divided by how many values we've got. So that's going to be 1085 okay, divided by 8. And then we've got minus b, b being the value that we've just found. I'm going to use the unrounded version though. Okay, so it's 1.63924 and so on, multiplied by f bar. f bar, the mean of f, so we've got to just total f, 186 then, and divide that by how many values we've got, which is 8. And if you work that out, then you'll find that you get 97.5126 and so on. Which when rounded to three significant figures is 97.5. 97.5 to 3SF. So that's our value of A. We've got value of B then. So we can just say that therefore the equation of that regression line, h on f, is going to be h equals a, which we now know is 97.5, plus b, which is 1.64, multiplied by f. And there you go. There's that equation of the regression line. All right?